When Amber called my show three years ago, she was suffering like no mother should. You see, her two-year-old son, King Hill, was missing and presumed to be deceased. Amber was accused of being involved in his disappearance and called my show to clear her name. Watch this. Back in July, I got a call from my mom saying that my sister over there going crazy about my nephew. They said that he was missing. According to the police, they said that around 9.50 a.m., the babysitter dropped the baby off to me and my sister. I had a weapon on my waistband. I pulled it from my waistband and then aimed it at her, and I, they said that I took my nephew and ran off. And that never happened. That's not true. I don't know this babysitter. This babysitter don't know me or my sister. Amber never knew that my nephew had a babysitter. They said that this babysitter had been in my nephew's life for two years. My sister trusted the stepdad, and it's like, he'd been lying to her from the start. He was telling her that he was taking care of my nephew, but the whole time when he come get my nephew, you dropping her off with this babysitter that we don't know about. According to police, they said that my nephew's deceased, but they didn't tell me, like, how was he murdered? Why was he murdered? Where? Like, where his body is? They didn't tell me nothing, so honestly, I don't believe that because it's like, Y'all telling me my nephew's dead, why can't I get his body? They said that the babysitter carried the suitcase out of the house, and when she went back to the house, she didn't have no suitcase, so she disposed the suitcase. The day I found out my son was missing, it, it, it was, it turned my life upside down. I had to call the cops and report my son missing because this babysitter claimed that she dropped him off to me. You never even knew that this babysitter was in your son's life. I didn't find out, uh, actually, the name of the babysitter until July 20th when she was on the news for murder. So from what I understand, when um, the stepfather would take your son, you were under an impression that he was with him all the time. Yes. And it turns out that he would then give your little boy to this babysitter. Yes. Um, DHS got him, got him off. They took my daughter from me. <laughs> now she and my mom care. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's just messed up because it's like, I, you know, that's all I got left. But, you know, DHS is thinking, you know, they, want, they, they believe in everything that they get from, you know, outsiders, you know what I'm saying? Do you believe he's still alive? I do. What do the FBI and the police believe? They said he's deceased. Now, you're here today because you took a lie detector test, and people are kind of thinking you might have something to do with it. So you're here today to proved that you had nothing to do with whatever happened to your son. Okay. Correct. Cody, you came here and took a lie detector test, and we asked you, did you know of the babysitter before your nephew's disappearance? You answered no. Around July 7th, 2020, did you meet the babysitter to pick up your missing nephew? You answered no. Do you know where your missing nephew is now? You answered no. Did you have any involvement in your missing nephew's disappearance? You answered no. The results came back all the same, and it came back that Cody told the truth. I knew it. I knew, I knew he was telling the truth. Amber, you came and you took a lie detector test. When we asked you, did you know of the babysitter before your son's disappearance? You answered no. Around July 7th of 2020, did you meet the babysitter to pick up your missing son? You answered no. Do you know where your missing son is now? You answered no. Did you have any involvement in your missing son's disappearance? 
You answered no. Uh, the results came back all the same, and it came back that Amber told the truth. Well, I want to thank you, Steve. I just want to <laughs> come on your show just to clear me and my brother's name, but so much more we got to do. It's been three years since Amber cleared her name of any involvement in her son's disappearance. The last time we spoke with her, the babysitter, Tiana Parks, had been charged with the murder of Amber's son. Today, we have new information about this case, and Amber is here with an update. Let's welcome Amber back to the show. How have things been for you since you've been on the show? Things been pretty okay. Um, I'm sort of struggling um, throughout my life without having my son. Yeah. Um, but like I also I have a daughter, so I try to stay peaceful and still be a mom at the end of the day. It must be hard to put a mask on you, a, a mask of happiness for your daughter. Right. Yeah. And I do that daily. Do you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Visit the link in the description to get my help. Update to the case since you were here? Hey guys, since the last time I was here, um, I had went to court. Um, it was supposed to be a trial, but they had to switch it. So it was only a judge, um, the the, the um, defendant, yeah. um, her family, and me, and some of my family. And um, I was I was expecting like maybe a second degree, third degree murder charge, but they had charged her with a manslaughter charge. Um, she got fifteen. The, the 30 years. Um, so she pled guilty then, right? Yes. And she pled guilty to a lesser charge. You were hoping for second or third degree murder. They they gave her a plea deal of manslaughter, which obviously is less time. And, and I take it you're not happy with the sentence. I'm not. I'm not. Because, um, you know, Prior to this, she didn't have a like, criminal background, and we all know um, that she probably won't even get to them 30 years, you know? She probably won't do 15 years. Exactly. Um, what did they say happened to your son? They said that my son had um, basically wiped the feces from his um, pull-up on the wall, and Tiana Parks got mad about that and struck him a couple times. And after that, she put him in the tub and went outside and smoked K2. Um, they said when she came back, King was underwater. underwater. And, uh, It basically is that he died like that. And after that, she didn't call paramedics or anything. She just put him in a trash bag and rode around <laughs> and just disposed of his body. Did they ever find your son? <laughs> they never found his body. Do you believe in your heart that maybe your son's still alive? I, I, I do, even with conviction. <laughs> I still believe that he's still there. <laughs> and that's why I wanted us to come back and update you guys because some of the stuff that we see on the internet, you can't believe everything. <laughs> no. Did the babysitter make any kind of statement to you at trial? Um, she, she did write a note. And um, at trial, I was just so furious. And 
I, I didn't want to, that was my first, first time seeing Dionne Parks. And I didn't want to see her face. I just was so sick in the stomach. So when she did read her note, I had stepped out of the courtroom. But my sister told me that she apologized and it's no apology. That's gonna bring my son back or it's no apology that's gonna make me accept that. I can't imagine what it's like to lose a child, but it must be horrible that they didn't recover your son's body. That's the hard part. Because if they did that at least, then you would have to be accepting of the fact that he really is gone. And I'm a humble person. If they would find my, my son today or tomorrow, deceased, I would, like, I would still be sad, but I would be a little bit more clear-minded and aware, like, you know, that not knowing. Yeah, like you said, it's, <laughs> it eats me up every day. I hope that you would be able to get him back and have a proper, you know, burial and bring closure to you. I was glad that we were able to help you to clear your name because people were looking at you. But there's no sugarcoating. you are got a tough thing to live with for the rest of your life. But I hope that you're strong enough to at least put on the front for your daughter and, and be a good mom to her, and I'm sure you are. And um, I know that pain never goes away, but I, I hope it eases somewhat for you. I appreciate everything. And um, like I said, like this, getting my word out to the world is more justice than I got in court.